Let's now stay uh, in Gauteng uh, because we've got a new premier today, of course, and he wants to build on the actions of his predecessor. The opposition saying this just means more corruption and cover-ups. Here's the moment Panyaza Lusufi defeated the DA Solim Zimanga in the Gauteng legislature vote today. 22 for Honorable Simanga and 38 for Hendrik. The ANC Gauteng chair has promised to be a hands-on premier of the country's financial hub, but the DA says Lucifi's hands are already dirty. Ian says Maloko Maloto was in the provincial chambers today and he joins us now. Uh, Maloko, what has the premier identified as his main priorities? Good evening. Hello, Sally. Well, uh, the new premier, Mr. Banyasa Lisufi, was sworn in today after his election as the number one citizen of this province, beating the DA's Solim Simanga. And later on, we as members of the media managed to have a one-on-one -on -one with him, and he is promising that he's going to attend to the issue of the economy of Gauteng. But he also promises something that he says would be non-negotiable, saying that it is even likely to cause more enemies. That is the fight against crime, the fight against lawlessness, but also the fight against corruption. Going on, Sally, to say that the townships of this province need a new face, also the hostels, but also the rural areas that he says people are still living on or at in this particular province. Let's listen to the Premier. Unfortunately, he did not, when we tried to speak to him as ENCA, to say how exactly are you going to do those. He would not elaborate. Otherwise, he said, wait for more details at a later stage. But let's listen to Premier Panyaza Lissouf. Let's go and uh, assess the capacity here, because you can't pronounce and the capacity does not meet. Uh, the pro I worked in government as an administrator before, and I've seen ministers announcing when things don't have budget, you don't have plans, you don't have personnel. So I don't want to fall in that trip. So I'm going to assess. That's why we didn't make any major announcement on anything. We are going to assess the capacity and other thing. But crime, development and improvement of townships, informal settlements and hostels, it's non-negotiable. Uh, our people can't stay in areas where they are staying now. Yeah. If we con they continue to stay in those areas, then our freedom is meaningless. Yeah. So, Maloko, uh, Panyaza Lusufi certainly made an impression and seemed to be a very active education MEC, but the Democratic Alliance is saying he is the wrong man for the job. Exactly why are they saying that? Well, one thing for sure, Sally, is that Panyaza Lusufi was one of the visible MECs, not only in Gauteng, but across the country, was accessible to members of the public and members of the media. But, of course, he's got a monkey on his back. When he was MEC of education at the height of COVID-19 during the lo lockdown, we have seen his department spending over 400 million rent to disinfect and sanitize schools when schools at the time were closed. Of course, he has denied any wrongdoing. He is saying that the, the, the department, as led by the HOD, is actually dealing with regard to, is actually implementing recommendations of the SIU. But the DA leader in the province, Solim Simanga, is simply not convinced. Essentially, he's saying removing David Makura and bringing in Banyaza Lisufi, who come from the same political party, he's saying they report to the same provincial executive committee. He is not convinced that there's going to be any changes. But let's listen to Mr. Solim Simanga. 
We're not expecting anything new. We're expecting smoke screens all over. We're expecting cover-ups all over. But more than that, we're expecting that those reports that are substantially implicating people are not going to see the, uh, the light of day. Why? Because some of the people that the Premier, the newly elected Premier, um, answers to are implicated in those reports. Some of them are sitting in his own PEC. Some of them are sitting at a national level. And they're not going to come out because once they do come out, you know, it means that people are going to go to jail. And that's is what has also sunk David Makura as we speak. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, ENCA's Moloko Moloto, telling us all about the new Premier, Panyaza Lesufi, who was uh, voted in today after 7 o'clock here on SA Tonight. We'll be speaking to the Premier as well. Still to come.